Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome to some more Horizon Zero Dawn here on the channel. We are on the mission to curse the darkness and search for a derelict tonic. We are in the Eclipse base. We are in the middle of the shit right now. We just started off where we last left off, which was kind of like halfway through a mission. Um, so I'm really intrigued as to what the hell is going to happen here. But as you can see, there is bad guys, thugs, gangsters everywhere. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this moron over here. And I'm going to destroy his life. Okay. Or maybe not. Okay, there we go. I'm going to make sure I kill him in the tall grass so nobody spots him. These damn, these damn thugs. By the way, I'm actually acquiring some, uh, some skill points. If you guys can please let me know. I can hear you, I think. Oh, shit. If you guys can let me know what skill points i should be getting please i i'm still really like undecided as to what i should spend my my points on i think i got eight points in total now let's keep in mind that i could if i wanted to just run through all these guys and kill them easily or i could do it stealthily 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 stealth i don't know which one of those words is correct but i am choosing the uh, stealth approach am i hearing things until I get spotted. Okay, so I'm gonna get a rock and I'm gonna throw it over there. There we go. I thought it was a goner. <gasps> oh my god. Got him. Perfect. Damn, this is actually going according to plan. <laughs> Let's go, baby. According to plan, it is. Little supply crate here. I have to ditch something. Hmm. All right. So we have one guy over there. That shelter. It's bigger than the others. Find the tall neck, Aloy. There's no time to poke around. Hey, relax. Is if I make time. Hold on. Okay, we got all of them tagged now. There's one with a skull, which possibly means he's quite dangerous. Somebody spotted me. Oh, God. Oh, God. You cannot run for okay, right. well. I think we're good now. Try to shut up. He's the last one, right? You can't. All right. I think that's all of them. That's actually pretty smooth, man. Is there fighting up ahead? No. It's a binding operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh, good. Another secret. Hold on, man. I, I gotta search these uh little tents here, you know? You never know where you're gonna find some good stuff. Okay, hold on. What is this place? A distraction. There are several data points. Okay, let's go through all of them. The voice log. Every morning, I wake to the same nightmare, the same reality. Holy Meridian, in the hands of profligates, debased. The spire, towering above the horizon like in a glittering spike through the center of my mind. Every daybreak in exile is a mark of failure, but the count of days runs thin. I will see Meridian retaken, the profligates slaughtered, a true king restored to the Mesa throne. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. When sleep refuses to come, I think of our wedding night, how you welcome me to the marital bed. How after, when you fell asleep, 
I lay there watching your delicate face. For all its beauty, I detested its fragility. A rage swelled up inside me. I abhorred that bed, how its softness threatened to swallow us up. And that room, the stench of incense, the fine embroidery of the drapes, all of it weak. I slipped from the bed, threw open the casement, and lay naked on the stone floor, determined to spurn all seductions of comfort. But when I woke the next morning, you lay beside me, naked as I in the cold. Your body stretched beside mine seemed chiseled from stone. I saw you wake, instantly alert, like an animal ready to strike. You said nothing. You did not have to. Already you had shown me beyond doubt that we were meant to be. A mural of Meridian and the Spire. I know this is totally random, but I, I've been watching the uh, some of the Star Wars episodes that I missed, which was episode one and two. Um, I had watched uh, three. I had watched. Um, I just finished watching one, two, uh, four, five, and six. Um, and now I, I now, and now I'm watching one and two, and I just finished watching two. And man, what a great movie! I fucking love Anakin. Totally random, but I just thought I I don't know. Never does the sun show pity. So random. When my wife died in birthing, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pitied myself. My lord sensed this, but instead of casting me down for weakness, he cast upon me a radiant beam of honor. He ordered my kin buried in the sacred caves reserved for royals and heroes. Unimaginable. Never again would I doubt that I am the Chosen of the Sun. Never again would pity find a place in me. Not for myself or another. Interesting. When I first set eyes on the buried shadow, I trembled. Was I not the Chosen of the Sun? A blazing light of faith to shred and scatter darkness? Was it not my place to destroy this devil? But High Priest Bahavas instructed me in the prophecy, and set right my frame of mind. The murder of the true Sun King broke the cosmic cycle short of completion. A whole world cast into darkness, doomed. To resume and turn the Wheel of Time would require more than Sun and Faith. All forces must combine, all halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, night to day. Even a buried shadow wants the wheel. Even a buried shadow wants the wheel to turn. For without a sun in the sky, there can be no shadow. Jesus, man. Passionate man over here. Goddamn. Last one. My lord, the 13th king of the Karsha Sundom was murdered. Cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Ever. The strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launch their assault, as their cannons forged by Osaram filth topple the battlements and burst the gates, I would have fought to the end. But it was his will, the will of the sun, that I lead the prince and queen into the west to safety. My lord did not hesitate. He saw his fate. He looked into the sun, and he did not blink. With me, he sent kestrels, nobles, sun priests, and slaves. Killing all that stood in the way, I carved a path to Sunfall. There, we joined others to gather the strength to take back our home. But our strength only faded until the buried shadow was brought to light. Okay, I think this is the last one now. Hold on. Dyed uh, plumage and lacquered metal plates of unknown origin. Dimensions suggest were of larger build. That's cool. 
some sort of armor. So long as King Itaman languishes at sunfall, coddled by his mother, he will never learn the true lessons of the sun. I have tried to instruct him, but the shadow of his mother's influence is upon him. I took him to the palace balcony to behold an offering of sacrifice in the ring, but he showed no thirst for it. Hmm. He averted his gaze. Look to the sun, I told him. Do not shield your eyes. In all things, it is absolute. One day, it nurtures life, and the next, scorches life away. It burns the skin of champions and wretches alike. Never does the sun show pity. That is the example a sun king must follow. The example of your father. The gate's barred. But before my instruction could take hold, we'll have to find she another way. was there. You think? Clutching him to her robes, burying his face against her breast. How is a king to rule when he cannot even see? Alright, so. Apparently, we can't go up through there, so we gotta find another way. Maybe through here. Huh. It was weird because. I think was playing. <laughs> Hold on, it's gotta be down here. The repel point. It'll get me out of here, but first I need to crash the network. Oh, okay. That's right. That's the one that we had to use for the getaway. How the hell? There's gotta be some sort of way we can climb up there, or. Okay. Oh. Nice. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now, how about finding that tall neck? It would not have been easy to drag the tall neck down this path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. Let's oh. Kind of structure around it. Climate. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. Yo, what if silence is setting us up, man? <clears throat> hey, Lloyd, if it feels wrong, don't do it. Don't do it, sweetie, please. I see the module. Good. I'll be quick. This. This is Hades? Aloy, hey, this is not the time. It's a metal devil. Open the module's casing now. Aloy, hey, do as I say or all is lost. Okay, I don't know who you're talking to, but I do not hear the dialogue. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna die here. Brave trail. Oh my god. Almost out of it. Oh my god, hurry up. Come on. Don't fight. Don't oh. fight. Run. Oh, okay. <laughs> that 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 helps. Ugh, okay. What? Got it. Almost there. Oh, this is on high alert. Yeah, I noticed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh god. Watch out for eclipse. Oh good. Oh god. Bridge in sight. That's the way out. No. Oh. Okay, I think we're dead. I think we're probably dead. I'm just kidding. We're not. We're Aloy. We're not. We're definitely not dead. We're gonna come back from this. Well, I think that was our first official encounter with Hades. Rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's not fall. We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Sirens, I would. But we both will I need it. Some fall it is. Alright. Deep Secrets of the Earth. Ooh. That's gonna be fun. What's also fun is that it's 1,600 feet away. Let me kill one of them. I've never gone up against any of them, so... Come here. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Oh, snap. Critical hit, critical hit. Nice. Ah, oh, fuck. Shit. All right, hold on. Stalker lens. Okay, I can't get it anyways. Whatever. It is what it is. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> My due diligence in this part of the world is done. Overdrive it. I've almost got Override you. it. Alright. Let's get out of here. I guess since we don't have any fast travel packs, we gotta take the long way out of here, you know? So whatever but i mean I, I guess we need to anyways just so we can discover more parts of the map besides this is areas that we have not seen yet or maybe we did but we did it in the nighttime so maybe it looks a little different i don't know you know there's a tonic right over here so i'm gonna go to the tonic and um one i'll discover a new area two i'll discover a new tonic and three i'll get more xp so that's that's exactly what i'm gonna do well, instead of actually having to follow my own trail back, which is going to take me twice as long, I'll just go to the tonic. And that's it. Simple. 
easy peasy. You know what? Oh, damn, I can't get any more of this. Alright, never mind. Get out of here. Alright, those are like new uh, robots. I don't think I've ever seen those before. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yo, they throw arrows? What the fuck? Oh, look at this. Oh! I don't know you guys were bad. Oh. Dude, I thought that was like a merchant, like straight up. I thought that was a merchant. And it wasn't, it was just bad guys. And this guy has a fast travel pack, which I may actually need. Do we keep going with the top, uh, with the, uh, with the bull or what? Or whatever the shit's called. <laughs> I'm really bad with names, you guys know this. Dude, I don't know if I can climb up there. Okay, I think I actually can. It's good. This is real good. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh, what the hell? Okay, hold on. Man, are you scared of heights? Screw you then, bro. I'm out of here. This is beautiful. This part of the... Oh, my God. This is, like, the nicest part we've been to yet. This desert look. I love it. <laughs> I freaking love it, bro. Ooh, look at this. This is nice. Very nice. This is close to Meridian, I believe. All right. Now, the question is, how do we get up there? That's the thing. Brought a cart. That's gonna be an issue how we get up there though. How am I gonna swim across this shit though? Oh my god. Please nobody kill me. Or better yet, nothing please kill me. I'm gonna have to find a way to climb up there as the tonic is right over there. Okay, I think we're safe. Perfect. I might actually have to go to my destination and then go for the tonic. I think that's what's gonna what's gonna happen. Because I wanted to go to the tonic, as you can see, it's right right over there but this is blazing arc okay well campfire discovered where's that campfire at gives us an explanation I trusted him damn where is it hey hey we have nothing for you go on move okay, well there should be some new merchants here too by the way that should be fun. I can't seem to find where the campfire here is, though. Oh, here it is. Perfect. All right. So, I don't know why, but I'm extremely intrigued as to how I can get up there to go to that freaking... I see. If I follow this trail, I'll get up there. That makes perfect sense. Find her. Okay, yeah. All I got to do is go up this little mountainside here. And it'll take us all the way to the same level where that tonic is. And once we're up there, we can interact with it. For some reason, it, this place looks familiar. It looks kind of like the Meridian area we were at at some point. But I don't think it's the same one. Now, now we're headed into the tonic area. Now things are starting to make sense. I honestly, I'm starting to think I probably took the longest way. Honestly. But it was different. It was new stuff, new territory. Another signal. I need some fox skin. Sorry, I don't mean to kill your food. 
I don't even know if the, killing these foxes is going to give me fox meat. I mean, fox skin. Unless it's super rare. Probably is. Hello there, fellas. How you guys doing? Oh. Hold on. The tall neck that's sending the signal. Rust wash. have to climb up to the tall neck's head. Can we? Yes, we can. Perfect. All right. Now I just have to reach its head. Oh, so every tonic is different. That's what it looks like. The other tonic, when we climbed it, climbed it. I don't know why I say tonic and it sounds like I'm saying tonic. <laughs> the other one, once we climbed it, it was a bit, a bit different. The pattern was different. It's really cool. Way. Here they come. I gotta make sure that they don't spot me up here. I don't know if they'll be able to shoot me down, but I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, here we go. Our second official tonic has been officially hacked. So, what have you guys told me? Because, yes, I do read the comments. That they temporarily get disabled. Like the machines and stuff. So, it's actually pretty awesome. Level 19 reached. Thank you very much. I'd have to leave something else behind. Yeah, let's see. I got a bunch of skills, man. We'll probably focus on the skills for the next episode. Or, or I don't know. We'll see. Sunfall. The Mad King Drawn Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling forbidden west. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea uh. what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, is there any merchants here? Yeah, there is. The sunlight always reminds me of who I am. Let's uh let's head inside first. Might actually be merchants in there. I saw a kestrel talking to a couple of the courtyard right now. Alright, guys. Here we go. Hmm. Yo, what the hell is that? The sun. Holy shit. Okay. These guys are like barbarians, man. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. Outlanders, if you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. I'll take the shards. Even if it means having a listen to Bahamas. I hear the shadow of I'll be first in line. Oh shit. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow. Whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. 
To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, Citadel, little huntress. The green the tent, down in Shadowside. But he refused I'll to be waiting. When kind of busy. And fled, and in doing so, demonstrated wanton disregard for the safety of the We both know you know kill for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see Go me, then, while there's still time to save him. The will of the sun. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the it's Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. What are the oh, grand the balcony? Ah, they want us to see this. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. Okay. I'm assuming this is possible through here. Okay, good. <laughs> Worried there for a second, man. Okay, so, oh, we gotta keep going down. Okay. Easy does it. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in. But this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. What we're going to do before we enter that ring is we're going to help out the uh, lady that we just spoke to. The food is from Dowager Queen Shanti, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Eat. Bring some home for your families, if you have one. I've heard whispers about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. Hmm. Stop being evasive and tell me who you really are. Stop being evasive? You might as well tell me to stop being charming. It's impossible, but I like you, so I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian. And I like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them, if he survives. How do you know Uthid is innocent? I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look, he feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edaman is ridiculous. He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. What makes you think he's on the green climb? He knows he'll be pursued, so he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that he'll fall back on what worked before. I'll do what I can for Uthid, but what about mm. you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. She got sick then died in the night. All right, so she was old. I'm assuming it's that way, right? Let's make sure that's the mission. 
Go to the, the tree dead, the three dead trees. Okay, so it's not that far. I don't know if I really want to spend a whole entire travel pack for this one thing. Um, just because it's really not that far. I'll probably just travel there myself. Still no damn fox skin. Okay, so I'm going to go on foot. Three dead trees. I think we're here. Just like Vinasha said. Let's see if Uthid came through here. These tracks lead up that rise. Must be the green calm. Okay, so he went where? That way? Yes, he came this way. Oh, this is interesting. I also upgraded my medicine pouch, so... Kind of, uh... I'm mad at myself I had to do that earlier. I was so caught up with trying to, like, save skill points for that tinker ability, but it's also a few other things that I needed and kind of glad we upgraded them. Foot tracks up here. Time to climb. Alright, time to climb it is. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, Aloy. Fuck. Okay, so he came this way. There it is. <laughs> and where else? All the way up there? God damn. Okay, highlighted rocks. Here we go. One thing I do feel that... I think they could have done a little better with this game is they should have probably implemented a little bit more climbing like parkour and stuff just because the world is so massive it would have been really fun to like do parkour some of these really crazy high areas you know like there's some really like minor spots where aloy can't even grab onto which kind of makes no sense but hey all right just a thought where did you go Uthid? food scraps i'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed he must have kept going. I've got to catch up. God damn, this man went far as hell. All the way down here. A dead machine. This has been hunting. Wow, he can hunt machines too? Okay, gangster. Everything useful has been stripped. He's got to be here. Uthid's been gathering components, probably for ammo. You guys think you're gonna sit here and bully me? Think you're gonna bully me today, huh? I don't think so. Oh, it fell. pretty good at this man holy shit Come on, hold on let me scrap the parts with one second a ravager not an easy kill but worth it for the parts dead watchers more scrap but with its stockpile nice all right so where do we go now this way already hold on all right so he went this way for sure he pretty much went the same way we were at before okay
The next one doesn't miss. Uthid? You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. No tricks. Just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavas for the sun's judgment. The high priest Bahavas? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence, then had his guards release the villain. You see? It was he who ordered the culling. Then they turned on us. Should have died with my men, so their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor, sacrifice, true sacrifice, the kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. If it's honor you seek, the Sun Karjas seem trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those Karja once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the Sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had- Uthid, I don't care what you did. I, I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Perhaps. I can believe you're a good man. But why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Itaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Itaman's just a child. Yes, an untainted vessel. I believed he was pure. But they used him, used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself, serving a rotten throne. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Banasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out... Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! The mountains belong to us! Key Cook's killers! When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo! You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. Eyes on me, Lord! What the hell? Why is why are the arrows throwing? What? To your All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. Move in. Got her. We'll send the rest as soon as they arrive. All right, good. You can see them. They can't see you. Hey there, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, no, no, <laughs> I got her better. <laughs> What's up, boys? It's up to you now, man. Rally. We can still finish them. Yeah. All right, good. Oh, you guys want to play fire? We can play fire with fire. Boom. Oh, there's a bunch of them, huh? Hooray! 
righteous. be the last of them. Got him. Follow me. My stash supplies up above. All right, awesome. Let's go. Let's go, Uthid. what you can while we still have time oh, these side missions are actually pretty long it's crazy okay we got this not a big deal nice okay he does some medicine anyways Robust defense is the most satisfying to break. All right, marbles. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. Oh, shit. Wow. I know that, Hood. We've unfinished business, Bahavas and I. This will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I did. But you're starting to change my mind. Hmm. Oh, come on. You're going down. All right, we got to be careful here. Oh, shit. It's only a couple of barbarians, so it's not a big deal. These hardpoint arrows are amazing. I think I just got hit from the back. Look out! To your left! My marbles thrive on adversity. Step it up, boys! Oh, really? Really? You really want to rappel down here to die? Have you lost your mind? It's a girl. What are you trying to say, huh? Because I'm a girl, I can't kick your ass. Oh man, they're starting to pile up down here. God damn it. That's it. Enough is enough. God damn. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yo, they're freaking ganging up on us right now. I feel like when it comes to the spear, Aloy sucks. It's all in the bow. For some reason. can do this. Then there's one more up top. Oh, what the fuck? Oh no, there's more reinforcements coming in. Got him. Or did I? Did I not? Nope, I did not. Nice. That's the last of the marvels. Bahavas thought he had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Will you come with me? Let's go, baby. Let's fucking go. Follow Uthid. I wonder if we're going to get to kill a priest. Possibly not. Hmm. Huh? 
This won't be easy. Bahava still has his personal guard. Oh shit, we are gonna go with him. Kill his ass. Oh, okay. Huh. Look at them all down here. Got too much already. Health potion, that works. Very nice. Don't mind if I do. Can I get some medicine? Across there and we'll have him. You know we're gonna need some medicine here. Dude, I really need to upgrade my pouch, man. Fuck, I'm almost full. I had to come here myself to end your suffering, Uthid. And mine. The Outlanders led us here. And now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with needles. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight. Okay, no more sneaking. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Oh, oh. Holy sh... Kill a traitor! Kill a Nora! I don't know you were here too, bro. Goddamn. Listen, if I can kill 40-foot monsters... I could definitely kill you. Make it hurt. Believe the shadow me. Falls upon them. Got this one. Make it hurt. As the shadow falls upon them. The sun sets on your pathetic life, Uthid. Okay, here we go. Kill a traitor! Kill a no- Alright, nice. Now what? Now what, huh? Fucking priest? Come here, priest! I oh, he doesn't die. Goddamn. I don't know what's gonna happen because the priest is just standing up there like without doing anything. Uthid, you better kill this man. I swear to God. Do we really need a cutscene for this? Whatever deal you worked out with him, I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this, Bahavas. The lies and the violence in your cheap scented oils. I don't suppose you'd kill yourself. I had to. I had to. Prune the weak, or all the Karja and Shadow are doomed. This solves nothing. But may the sun find some worth among your drying bones. Oh. Damn, savage. That was quite a fireworks show. I like it. You took your time. I was busy. What do you think happened to Yan Shand? The other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. <sighs> You've had quite a day. I never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could use your help. Kidnapping the Sun King of the Shadow Karja is no small task. It's not kidnapping. 
They want to go to Meridian, to safety. How do you know that? I've been posing as Nasadi's handmaiden. She's scared. For herself, of course, but mostly for Edaman. What's going to happen to Uthid now? Don't worry. You gave him a second life, and I'll put it to good use. He'll be welcomed in Meridian as a military advisor. Hopefully he can help Avad finish the Shadow Karja with as little bloodshed as possible. What's going to happen at Sunfall now that Bahavis is dead? Oh, it will be glorious. The priests will panic. They'll be infighting, skullduggery, and backstabbing as they wrangle for power. Best of <laughs> all, they'll be distracted. Bahavas, your life brought misery, but your death is a flower that blooms in abundance. Why do you care what happens to them? Edaman is the Shadow Karja's figurehead. If he defects, it will remove their last trace of legitimacy. Beyond that, he's just a boy who clings to his mommy. He made a little grazer for me out of matchsticks once. It wasn't very good, but still, nobody ever made anything for me before. What do you need to get Nasadi and Itaman out of Sunfall? With Bahavas dead, Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The big fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundom. Find my friend, Three Tohuadiv, near the branded shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this Wadiv has already cleared the area, why do you need me? Contingencies, little huntress. Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. I'll try not to disappoint. All right, there we go. Very nice. The Nora said you would help me. Are we bound for Meridian? Only if you want to go, my dear. What choice do I have? None Please at all. Gambit. I was just being polite. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We did a side mission, okay? And it was a pretty long help. one. But it was a good one. If all side missions are that Please, fun, then to I'm totally right okay with them. I'll probably be doing most of them off camera. None or maybe after we do the entire me. story, we can tackle some of those side missions. But again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. As always, if you what did, you think be sure to leave a like. After I I'll catch you on the next one.